When you are delighted with anything, be delighted as with a thing which is not one of those which cannot be taken away, but as with something of such a kind as an earthen pot is, or a glass cup, that when it has been broken, you may remember what it was and may not be troubled. So in this matter also, if you kiss your own child, or your brother or friend, never give full license to the appearance, and allow not your pleasure to go as far as it chooses, but check it, and curb it as those who stand behind men in their triumphs and remind them that they are mortal. Do you also remind yourself in like manner that he whom you love is mortal, and that what you love is nothing of your own? It has been given to you for the present, not that it should not be taken from you, nor has it been given to you for all time, but as a fig is given to you, or a bunch of grapes at the appointed season of the year. But if you wish for these things in winter, you are a fool. So if you wish for your son or friend when it is not allowed to you, you must know that you are wishing for a fig in winter. For such as winter is to a fig, such is every event which happens from the universe to the things which are taken away according to its nature. And further, at the times when you are delighted with a thing, place before yourself the contrary appearances. What harm is it while you are kissing your child to say with a lisping voice, Tomorrow you will die, and to a friend also, Tomorrow you will go away, or I shall, and never shall we see one another again.